yeah, this move is key, isn't it? So this yeah. is maybe a critical little moment here, isn't it? Because I've what this is Black's idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I think we have to jump into the board to show this because some chaos is about to happen. Mm. Instead uh, of defending his queen, just we rewind one move, instead of defending his queen or running away uh, from this attack, Magnus has counterattacked. He's jumped in with his own knight and actually look at Anish on the camera now. He's just staring straight down. He's not even looking at the screen anymore. Wow. He's trying to calculate and he's gone into his mind palace to do that. And this is a counterattack, hitting the white queen and hitting the white bishop at the same time. Now, if the black queen is captured, Magnus will simply take the white queen and Yes, black is still a pawn up. There's still some stuff to calculate, but at least the attack against the white bishop means that there's no real time to grab the black knight. The variation continues. For example, Anish could capture this pawn and uh, maybe with a healthy position. The alternative would be to use the white queen and capture the black knight. The white queen was going to fall anyway in that variation, so you might as well give her up for a knight and now win the black queen. And it looks like white is just a piece up. White has an extra bishop. But at the very end, you see knight takes pawn and suddenly there's a fork a double attack both the white rooks are uh, under fire here and one of them will fall so here you have to do a count white is a bishop up but black has two pawns and black is about to win a knight uh, a rook for his knight and uh, yeah it's just a material equation here you just count okay i'm going to be two pawns up maybe in a situation like this one the black knight will be trapped in the corner um, just as an example and you have to work things out there so there's a lot for anish to calculate right now i think this is position i think this is very interesting because those two lines you pointed out david the last line is clearly the more ambitious line queen so so yeah so if, if anish now plays queen takes knight i think that shows really good ambition on his part, that he's actually really trying to take this game and win this game. If he plays the other line, it looks like it's a bit of a cop out to me. Yeah. Um, I mean, also, if I was white, I would not want to have allowed this move in the first place. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe castling queenside was a bit premature. Maybe he should have played pawn to f3. It's still okay, but the queens are coming off the board, and, and that is something I'm, I'm sure Magnus will be very happy with. So this, this, you know, just to get the danger a little bit less to his position. Um, yeah. Yeah, fully agreed. The queens are about to come off. Either black is going to take the queen now or white can give up the queen before it's captured by taking this knight. But the queens are definitely going to depart and we'll uh, keep you updated on the material imbalance that will arise once the queens do get traded off. So what do we think that uh, Anish is going to play? Oh. Bearing in mind that it's the first game of the day. I'm tested the waters I think he's a little gonna bit. Take the queen. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling he's going to yeah. take the queen. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say he's going to take the knight. Okay. I, have to, I have to be a bit. I have to be a bit different. You know? okay. oh, oh yeah. Oh come on, Anish. <laughs> come on, that was bad. I mean, you you mentioned this is maybe a little. I don't know which move was even better, but David, you did say that one of his slight issues was that he tries to get the queens off he tries to maybe keep stable positions too much when yeah. it might be better to go for the more unbalanced position and that's possibly what's happened here 